two to one. Right back. Yeah, you know, uh, we didn't have a very good start to the game, so then to, to kind of sneak our our way up to two one, um, it felt good. We, we I think we got a little excited that we were gonna uh, grab a result and get out of here. Uh, unfortunately, we gave up a couple of goals in quick succession, and it, and unfortunately we lose tonight. But um, uh, the last uh, two months have been pretty good. Um, maybe not enough good performances from from enough guys tonight, and um, you know, unfortunately we lose. Obviously, in the second half, things kind of changed after you got that goal. Obviously, you said you got a little excited, but on the field, how did things kind of change? Did they did they come at you more? Did you guys get a little relaxed? No, no, really. I just think uh, David Villa made a couple of good plays. I think um, on the penalty, I'm not sure. I'd like to see it again. Excuse me. But um, the first goal, obviously, we need to confront him a little bit higher up the field and maybe take a professional foul to, to slow him up. But you don't think he's going to dribble 40 yards and put one in the corner. So... Um, you know, we gotta we gotta give credit to him tonight because he obviously had a fantastic game. What's it like for you to be in the middle of a rivalry like this when you're playing 33,000 people yelling, screaming? Um, it's good. It's exciting. Um, it's definitely better than than going somewhere else in this league and playing in front of 10,000 fans in an empty stadium. So. Um, I think this rivalry has been good for MLS. I think it's been good for both sides. I think uh, it's ignited both of our teams in, in certain ways. Um, and for the most part, we've gotten the better of them this season. They, they've won two out of three now, so we know that we have one more against them this year to try to even things up. With the way you guys have been playing lately with Tyler and the guys getting up the field, is the narrow field, was that a factor? Does that play into it at all? Um, I think it always plays a factor into the way the games are played here. Often they're more physical and more combative, and there's a ton of fouls, so, so the game is not really free-flowing. Um, but, yeah, it'll definitely be nice when they get on a normal soccer field. Sasha, um, your vantage point when, when Danny went down with the injury, um, what were your feelings like? And then afterwards, how do you feel now that it's not as serious as it might be? Well, I think it's too early to say how serious his injury is. Um, I guess we'll see. We all just have our fingers crossed for Danny because uh, he's been an important part of uh, our team this season, and he's a great guy around the team. So we hope we're not going to miss him for an extended period of time. Sasha, so you mentioned that you didn't think that some simple guys didn't have their better games. Is, is it just one of those things? Um, is, it, is it something to, that, that's a problem going forward? Um, or was it just, just a, ba a, a bad game and a pressure and a pressurized atmosphere? Well, I think Jesse said it best to us in the locker room that this was, this was kind of like a test uh, in the middle of your season, a, a pretty big test, and we just didn't pass it tonight. But... Um, for the past six to eight weeks, we've had very good performances all around the field. And, and in a big game like that, you need big performances from everybody if you're going to win. We got two goals uh, on the road, which is big. Bradley Wright Phillips came up huge. Um, you know, we should be able to protect uh, some type of lead or, or get a point out of, uh, you know, getting two goals on the road. So uh, I'm not worried. Uh, we just got to get over this loss, and then we know we have a very big week coming up, you know, Orlando and onwards. So, Sasha, you, you probably know this more than a lot of people. How tough is it to defend and go against David Villa, who he's always like running all over the field all the time whenever he has the ball or not? There's no no fluke that he's you know Spain's all-time leading scorer and he was a big player for Barcelona. We and anybody in MLS can tell you that he's probably one of the best strikers that's been here for the last two years, two and a half. So, um, yeah. I don't have to pump him up that much. I think he's obviously a very good player. All right. Thanks, guys.